Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a kind of different video for you guys, and this is going to be my September 2012 favorites video, and I know a lot of people actually do these monthly favorite videos. I was actually one of them on my old makeup channel. I used to sort of do them. It's kind of hard to keep up with for me, but um, I did a few, and I don't really do this much because, well, one... A lot of the time my favorites don't change a lot, so I feel like I'd be very repetitive and it wouldn't really be a new video. And um, two, I don't know, I just, I don't like the commitment to have to do the same video each month. And I know that sounds kind of hypocritical because I do a Birchbox video every month, but I don't know, it's just not the kind of video I really want to do that often. But um, I really wanted to do it this month because there are a lot of new products. My birthday was in August, so I had all September to use them, and um, I got some different stuff for myself and for my birthday and all that, and I just think it's a really good variety. It's not all makeup. I mean, the majority is, but I got a few items that aren't makeup, and so I thought, why not just do this video? So here we go. I'm going to start with the non-makeup items because it seems a lot of people do that, and I'm going to spare you the whole... Although, for me, I feel like it does go by faster than the average person because I'm in college. Like, when you're in college, you lose all track of time. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to mention is this Crest 3D White Vivid Toothpaste. I have this huge tube right here because um, I had an average one and then I also got a huge tube. Um, I switched toothpaste probably a month and a half ago or a month ago. I don't know, sometime like right before September started, and I'm in love. Um, I didn't like it at first because I'm very particular about my toothpaste um, taste, um, because I'm so used to, I always used Colgate for my whole life, and then uh, the past years and years I've used Colgate Total, and that's what my dentist said, and he's like, you know, you should use the thick toothpaste, not the, the see-through gel because it does better and blah blah blah. But you know what? I'm 19. I wanted to change my toothpaste, okay? So I got this because I did want to whiten my teeth some, and I, I did some research, and I was going to get the Glamorous White, which is a dollar more a tube, but it even said, like, in the reviews, save the dollar, this does the same kind of thing. And I've been very impressed. The taste did take some time to get used to, but I'm very impressed. Um, I can see that my teeth are whiter. I wish I did a before shot. I didn't have terrible teeth, but um, they do seem whiter, um, although I don't know if you can really tell over the camera and in this lighting and all that stuff, but they do seem whiter, they're not like, POW, but, um, I like the effects, so I brush twice a day and I like how it's coming out. Next is this Dove Go Fresh, uh, Revive Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena scent deodorant. I almost forgot to say what it was. Um, I had to change my deodorant because my favorite deodorant that I've been using for years and years from Dove, um, I don't even remember what it was called, they don't make it anymore I guess because literally I've looked like eight places for it and I couldn't find it, um, and over time I didn't just give up after one day. So I had to change, I changed to another and I didn't like it at all. I feel like it actually like when you sweat it would make you stink more. And I'm like well what is the point of that? So then I switched to this and I really like the scent, you know, like, I like the deodorants that when you sweat, it actually makes you smell better because, I don't know, I guess it kind of emits something, I don't know, but good deodorant so far. Next thing is for my hair, and this is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I am sure you've heard endless things, good things about this on YouTube. Um, this is just amazing. I'm, I'm not the type to invest tons in my hair, trust me. Um, even with makeup, you know, I don't have tons and tons of high-end makeup. This was $33 for 8.5 ounces. But um, basically, it's a thick repair mask. Now if I can open it. I just got some of the little mask on my leg. It's okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've used it... Um, I want to say three times now, and that's how much I still have left. It, it lasts a while, is what I'm told, so I'm just like, okay, good. Um, 
I use it once a week. I use it on the weekend. Um, I I wash my hair every other day, so whether that's the Saturday or Sunday. Like tonight, today is Sunday that I'm filming, and I'm going to use it tonight. And I just love the way my hair feels the next couple days. It's just super, super soft, and I think it helps with frizz and everything. So it's definitely worth the investment. Let me know if you want a full uh, review on this product, but I do have a hair care routine that I recently posted, so I'll link that in the description box if you want to reference that. That is every single thing I use in my hair care routine you can think of. Okay, so last thing that is not makeup related is this Yankee Candle, and this is in the scent Whoopie Pie. Uh, Dylan, my boyfriend, got this for me for my birthday, and I've been loving it. I'm trying not to burn it all at once, that's why it doesn't look like even half of it's gone, um, but it's amazing. Um, I like getting the medium candles from Yankee Candle because the large ones are too much, and then by the time they get down there, it's like half the wax is on the side, so you waste the product anyway, and the small candles are too small. So this is the medium size candle. It's 14.5 ounces, which is the same size as a Bath & Body Works large candle, if you were wondering. However, I do like the three wicks in the Bath & Body Works candles better, and I know they have the tumblers, but... Alright, anyways, I just love this scent. Um, I use candles in my bedroom, and my bedroom and the hallway, and my sister's bedroom. They, they all smell like chocolate awesomeness, and I just love it. It's one of those scents that kind of lingers even after you, you know, blow out the candle. Yay! Now on to makeup, you know, that's the fun part. Uh, first thing is this EOS lip balm. This is a vanilla scent, and it's the uh, Alice in Wonderland set that is now at Target. You get three different ones, but this is my favorite, and it's just a vanilla scent, and I absolutely love it. I've been using it, like, all the time because I love EOS lip balms. Um, I have a review on one of them on this channel. I like that, too. Next thing is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Oh my gosh! So, um, I got this for my birthday as well. I don't have the original Naked, this is the one I wanted. And I'm just like, in love with it. I have literally used this. Besides yesterday and today, every single day I've worn makeup in September, some combination in here has been on my eyes every single day. I'm not even kidding you. But then yesterday and today I've used the Laura Pro Palette. But I'm sure you've seen what it looks like. It's amazing. Awesome, awesome neutrals. The only thing is, um, like, I sometimes bring this with me. And I know that's maybe not a great thing to do. But Verve right here... I opened it a couple days ago, took it out, and it was like, the pan was out, and then I just pushed it back in, and I guess ever since then, it's like not falling out again. It's like it came unglued, but I didn't even have to glue it back in. I don't know if it's magnetized, but, um, yeah, other than that, I'm loving, loving, loving this palette. So worth, so worth the money, if I had to pay for it. Alright, since we're on eyes, um, I have been really liking this Ulta Extreme Wear Gel Eyeliner in Prime Time, which is just a very black color. Um, this is what it looks like. I wore it um, in my past like three videos, and then today I have it on as well on my upper lash line. And I love it. It's a long-wearing, pigmented, super creamy gel eyeliner. And I think the Ulta eyeliners are like 10 bucks or something like that. So it's really, really good and you get a lot of product. Um, I got this for free though because of like the rewards program at Ulta. So I chose this as my free item and I can't tell you how happy I am. And then along with eyes, uh, my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite mascara combination is uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, which this is in the Olympics packaging, which I love because I love gymnastics at the Olympics. And then e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. This, So I love this for volumizing and this for lengthening. Marry these and it's like, boom! Your lashes look awesome. So um, I put the volume on first, then I lengthen. And remember to wiggle to get the best results. Um, but I re recently repurchased these, and so I'm so happy because I missed my favorite mascaras. I really, really did. Another thing with eyes, I don't know, this is really out of order, 
Um, another thing with eyes I've been liking is the color tattoo and badge the bronze by Maybelline. Um, I know this isn't limited edition with the fall collection, but um, it's just an awesome base. I, I've been using it under the Naked 2 palette alone uh, under different eyeshadows and I really like it. Kind of, again with eyes, um, I recently got a powder to fill in my eyebrows with and it's been in, I've been using it the past probably month or so because I think I got it at the beginning of September at Ulta, but um, it's the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Thirst, Thrist, Trist, I really don't know how to say that, uh, T-R-Y-S-T, what? I feel like Taylor Swift in that song, what? Anyways, um, so this is the color and, uh, I'm so sorry, the lighting stinks, okay? I can't invest in lighting right now, and so I'm using the light from my bedroom because it's been raining the past couple days. But, um, and now my tower is being really loud. I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but, you know, they say blonde uh, eyebrows should be two shades darker and brunettes should be two shades lighter. So, um, I think this is a pretty good match. Uh, I always liked pencils, but I wanted to try powder eyeshadow, and I've been really liking it. And then I set it with the Clear Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline. Just get a cheap, clear mascara and you're good to go. And then last thing revolving around eyes is Benefit Powder Flage. Let me tell you, this is a $28 product. It's so cute. I got it for $10 at Ulta in September because they were having like 21 days of beauty steals. Oh my gosh! So I've been loving it uh, for setting my under eye concealer. I hate loose powder products. I hate it so much, but it's a really good product. My concealer doesn't crease anymore. I love it. Now on to some face products. Uh, for primer, I recently tried the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer because I was running low on my L'Oreal uh, Magic Souffle Primer, which is my all-time favorite still, but this is actually pretty similar texture and color and everything. The only thing is it stinks. Like, literally, it smells bad when you apply it. It smells like paste or clay or glue or something. It's really gross. I don't know if that's just mine or everyone else's. Let me know, but um, it's pretty good. I like how it you know, mattifies the face, very smooth, all that good stuff. Foundation I tried and have been liking is the Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup. SPF 20, all good. Um, the only thing I don't like is there's no pump. I recently did a full review on this product, so I'll link that in the down bar as well. Um, it's pretty okay. It's not my favorite foundation, but I've been enjoying it when I use it. So, good stuff. For powder, I got this for my birthday from my sister, and this is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation SPF 15 in Fair. So I've really been liking that as my powder. Blush, this is an oldie but goodie, so I had to mention it. It is the e.l.f. Studio Blush in Tickled Pink. I've been using this literally every day, I think, in the month of September, pretty close to it. Um, I can actually start, I'm starting to tell like how much I've been using it. Uh, but I love, love, love it. Only three bucks, you can't go wrong. And then last face product is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is the original. I was going between getting this or the uh, Milk Chocolate. The Milk Chocolate though looked too light. You know, it looked like for people who even lighter than me. Uh, so I got the original and I was like, you know what, I can blend. Literally, one tap of the brush, contour, 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 blend, blend, blend. One tap, contour, contour, blend, blend, blend. One tap each time. Amazing. And it smells like chocolate, it's so yummy. Alright, last but not least are my Sigma brushes. I've been love, love, loving these. I got these for my birthday as well. These are the Mrs. Bunny brushes. Um, I got the full set of Mrs. Bunny brushes. Um, in these cases. Not the travel size, the regular. And then I also got the um, F80 Flat Kabuki Foundation Brush. I just love Flat Kabukis. I used the e.l.f. flat one for years. And when people say this is an upgrade, they're not kidding. This is 16 bucks, and for a foundation brush that I'm going to use every single day, really, it's worth the investment. So I highly recommend this brush if you got to get just one just one. 
that's the brush to get. But this whole set, I mean, I use almost every single brush every day. Um, great essential brushes. And they're really, if you calculate how much you're paying for each brush, really good buy. And they're really good quality. They last for years. Um, I still have my original Sigma sets from years ago. So that is all of my favorites of September, I think. I hope. Oh, last but not least um, are these coach shoes. And I know they look a little beat up. They are. But they were used. I got these for 10 bucks at Goodwill, okay? Because they were $20 and then I had a half off coupon. And so these were $10. And they're authentic coach shoes. And they fit well. They feel great. They look awesome. And that was just an amazing steal. One of my best steals at Goodwill yet. So, um, yeah. Now that's all my uh, favorites officially. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I guess let me know if you like them, but I'm, I'm not promising every single month. I, I don't want to make promises that I can't keep, so... Um, but I enjoyed doing it this month, and... Uh, stuff like Too Faced Chocolate, Soleil Bronzer, NYX Shadow, all that stuff. Watch my next video that I'm uploading after this one, because that is an extreme Ulta haul from September. I went to Ulta like four times in September and got tons and tons of goodies, high-end and drugstore. So please watch that if you're interested in those. So that's it. Really long video, I feel, but I, it's a lot of favorites. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're all well. Bye.